Hey, this is Beth from Dainty D Merchandise. I'm here with another Goodwill Blue Box. As you can see, I already opened it. I could not resist. I had to take a peek, and I also wanted to make sure that there wasn't a whole bunch of tangles going on. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and dig into this. I am a part-time reseller. I just started doing this a couple months ago just to, I heard about these blue boxes and thought it was really cool. And first box I had, I ended up with a Chanel, vintage Chanel earring. And I sold it for a little over a hundred dollars. And it just, it started me out and I couldn't, couldn't resist. I have to keep going. So here we go. We're about to dig in. And I will say this looks like a good box. So let's see what we have. All right, first up is this little earring. Feels cool, like nice texture to it, like soft. So we'll see if we have a matching one. It's definitely like a dangle, dangle earring. It's cool, not something I would wear, but definitely a very spring, springtime. All right, first up is this Chico's necklace. It's pretty cute. I don't know if I would wear it, but it is definitely a gem. Pretty long. And I do have my Presidium gem tester, so I'm gonna turn that on and just check some of these gems, because some of them are cold to the touch. You can tell. I've had necklaces before that are real turquoise. I'm also going to do another video showing all of my jewels that I have found that I haven't tested yet, and I'm going to go, I'm going to do a video of those too, so you guys will get to see some of the turquoise that I have found that I'm, I'm pretty positive is real. So we're going to test this really quick since we, we are calibrated. Let's see. Yep, we're good to go. Okay, so let's test this and see. Let me put my tester over here so you guys can see with me. There we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Nothing. Let's test another one. It is Chico, so I'm sure it is fake. All right, so nothing there. I'll set you aside. So, it's a cool one. I'll put it to the side. Definitely a resell material. It's in good shape. All right, now we have a silver bangle starting to got some rust going on so I'll probably going a jewelry lot I do sell jewelry lots as well oh I can't even get this on but I do sell jewelry lot boxes of just like leftover jewels that I'm not using it's a cool piece but I'm gonna put this on to the right and keep all my goodies to the left all right oh this has got some weight to it so this is another bangle hmm. I don't see any markings so I'll have to test it. I do have my testing stone, so let's go ahead and excuse the noise. I'm sure this is not going to sound nice. Oh, okay, it doesn't sound bad at all. All right, we've got a nice thick line. So I use the 10K to test. I know some people use the sterling silver. It's just easier for me to see if we have anything. I don't know if you can see. So it looks like it's eating it away. Goodbye, not silver. So it looks like another probably just go into a lot box. So I'll put that to the right. Another lot. Let's see. I'm going to move this box. Turn it over. All right, let's see. All right, we got this super chunky green necklace. Super chunky. Um, I don't see any maker's mark on it. This looks like beads to me. Not a professional, but I am sure this is just beads. We'll test it. Let's test with the with the presidium. You guys got it. You love it. Let's see what we got. Glass. That's it. All right. Let's test a couple others. Nothing. Nothing. All right, so a lot of nothing. It's definitely resellable. I do well selling like these little, the Chico's and the little statement necklaces. You can do, I'll probably maybe do a bundle and have these kind of set to the side. All right, let's keep going. Okay, 
Okay, so this is another little chunk necklace. Let's see if there's any markings on it. I don't see any markings. I'm sorry the lighting isn't great in here. So I don't see any markings on it. And it definitely it's, it looks kind of beat up and kind of smells fake to me. So I'm put it in the, in the I don't know what you are pile. Okay, all right. So this is interesting. Big old chunky necklace, my goodness. This is actually kind of heavy. So let's see, this looks like blown glass. Let's just check. Let's check and see what you are, make sure. All right. Glass you are. All right, so that's pretty cool. Blown glass, I'll have to do some, maybe some research on it, but I don't know, I'd probably sell that for like $15. It's heavy too, so we'll put that in the resale pile. All right, let's see what else. All right, this is pretty. All right, we have an earring wrapped in here. Okay, so, not sure. This doesn't look too fancy. Hmm, I'm gonna have to test it just because of the inlays on it. I'm sure it's not real, but very shiny, pretty. Maybe I could find the matching one. I'm gonna put all my unmatched earrings. All right, so this says Faith. We've got a little stone on here. Let's see what this says as well. It says Extraordinary Life, and it's still wrapped in plastic, which is awesome. So let's see what this says. Let me get my little magnifier out. Let's see what we're looking at here. Let's turn it around. Okay, it says Thailand, LA, 925. Hmm, all right. So I'll have to test it and see if it is real. 925, I always want to test my stuff before I do any selling, just to make sure that we're working with real silver here. All right, so I try to do all, you know, I try to do make sure that I'm doing most of the, most of the um, little charms on them, just to make sure. And I'm kind of all over the place with this thing. All right, so now let's check, and then I'll check that stone as well. So let's do this really quick. Let me zoom in just a little. Let's see what we're working with. I don't know if you can see it, but it is staying, so we are going to say it is real. All right, well, it looks like, and I'm glad I waited. I don't know if you can see it. So it's eaten away, actually, some of the bracelet. But the charms seem to be real, 925. So, good to know. I'll put that in the description. Also, if you guys are in any of these pieces you're interested in, I will put my email at the bottom and you can email me if you like anything and I will set it aside for you. But this is, the charms seem to be 925, but this is not. So, and let's test and see what we, see if we have any kind of stone going on here. Let's see. What do we have? Oops. Stain on there. Oh. So we definitely have something. Hmm. Maybe I've had aqua quartz before, but it doesn't seem to be going that high. Let's, let's try another spot. Here we go. Hmm. Be maybe aqua, aquamarine, maybe blue core. Okay, I'll have to look it up. But very pretty, so real, real stones, real stones, real 925 silver. So I don't know, I'll probably sell this for like $20. $20. Let's set that aside into the I like you pile. And let's keep going. All right, so we have this pretty statement necklace. I don't see any maker's mark. 
really pretty though. I would definitely sell this probably for like $10. I might put it in a bundle and sell it for like 20 with another necklace. I'll put it in the pile over here of necklaces that I like to sell. All right, we have another, kind of matches this bracelet bangle. Uh, let's see. So we've got some little tassels. Cute. I don't know if I would wear it. Probably get on my nerves. Let's put it on. It's cute though. I like it. Definitely a resellable item. Let's see what you are. Are you real? All right, like I said, I try to do charms and bracelet. No, this looks crazy. I swear I do remember which ones are which. <laughs> All right. So I'll set that aside and do a little test. Let's see what we have. So this is the bracelet. Charm and charm. Let's see what happens. I'm actually going to be really surprised that this is silver. Let's see. This looks like it's holding up pretty good. I don't know if you can see it. Huh. Looks like it's holding up pretty good. All right, here we go. Now it's starting to, looks like it's starting to fade a little bit. All right, well, I'm gonna say that is a fake. Ooh. I'm gonna say that's a fake. Yeah, it's starting to fade, so fake. I like it. I will resell it. All right, here we go. Ooh, cute little mom's mom bracelet. Very cute, adjustable. Hmm. I just, I've stated in my other videos, I am a mommy of three, so I love my mom jewelry. I don't know, I, I would wear this. <laughs> I would might wear this. All right, we're gonna test these little stones. So let's see, let me make sure this is visible. Let's see. All right, looks like nothing. Still very cute. I would definitely, I would sell this for, I don't know, maybe, maybe like $10, $10, 15 bucks. Let's see what's there's, oh, and there is a stamp on it. All right, let's move you out of the way. Let's see, let's see what we got going on here. It says L-A. C-N, C-N-O. Hmm, never heard of it. I'll have to look it up, but for now, 10 to 20 or 15. <laughs> All right, I like that one. Oh, my baby would love these. So these are definitely some little chewy beads. Obviously, I'd have to sanitize them, but I don't know. I might would keep this for myself. Oh, I have one of these already in my son. I have two boys and a girl, and I just had a boy, another boy three months ago. So I don't know, I might could wash this and let him chew on it. Definitely usable. So I'm gonna put that in the could sell it as well, probably for at least $20. Alright, let's see what we're working with here. Oh, another Alex and Annie. I don't know. I can't remember if I had those in my last video, but I had some Alex and Annie and it on Poshmark it got picked as a host pick, so I was super excited about that. So yeah, Alex and Annie. These are definitely resellable all day. I would probably do a bundle for these two. Obviously they go together. It's got a little apple, a little USA flag made in USA with love. So yeah, I would probably, I would do a bundle of these for like 20. They're cute, little like heartbeat or like lightning bolt. I'm gonna go with heartbeat. Yeah, so that's cool, I like it. Ooh, what is this? Let's see, we have some, Oh, it's Swarovski. It's kind of faded a little bit. I wonder if I could clean that up, Swarovski. I think I've seen these, I think they are bracelets. I think they're going for like 30 or 40 bucks. You could wear it as a, as a necklace as well, but ooh, it's so pretty. I like it. I've seen these though, I know they're going for at least 30 or 40 bucks. All the Swarovski crystals inside. Oh, can you see it? It's so pretty. 
I could keep this, <laughs> but I won't. I'll sell it. I will show it to my husband, though, and give him some hints for my Valentine's Day. But if you're looking for Valentine's Day, this will be online for probably, I'll probably do it for like 35. I'm going to see if I can clean this up. If not, I'll probably do it for maybe even cheaper than that, but I'll see if I can clean it up. Super pretty. Definitely resellable. All right, we have a little flower brooch. The beads are definitely fake. I can tell they're just like super plastic looking. I don't see any maker's mark on here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything. Let's just do a little spin around, make sure. All right, yeah, so seeing a whole lot of nothing, but it is a very cute brooch. I'd probably sell this for maybe five, ten dollars. Super pretty. I might, if I find more, I might put it in like a lot. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a little, little tangle over here. Let's see what we're going with. All right, it's just a chain, it looks like. Let's see what it says. Let's go to source. Okay, yep. So it says ATI or, hmm. Oh, let's try that again. It's definitely ATI. Thought maybe it was like Italy or something, but let's see. It's ATI 925. What does it say? 925 Indo. So probably like Indonesia. Hmm. All right. Nice chain. I could probably combine this with something if I find like a little, you know, charm or something. I can. Nice little chain. Pretty good. Decent size length. So definitely keep that. Now, what in the world? I don't know if this is a vintage or we're just looking at some like old pennies here. One centimo. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get the magnifier out. Let's see what we're working with. One centimo. I cannot read that. Oh, okay. It looks like just some squiggles. <laughs> let's see what the front, what we're looking like on the front. Ninety one Peru I'm probably gonna have to do some research on this. Central de Reservoir Peru nineteen ninety one. Okay, so we got some dates nineteen ninety two, ninety two, nineteen ninety two. 91, 92, 92. Sometimes I look at all the dates just to make sure because sometimes you can find old pennies and stuff and they are worth some money now. So 1992, 1991, I'll do some research on this and see what we're working with. Let me turn my gym tester off. So yeah, this is, I mean, it's pretty cool. I would probably wear this. It's definitely um, for a dainty wrist, but I like it. It's definitely different. I like a little bit of different jewelry, so I'll set that to the side as a... I will most likely sell it. All right, we'll get some tangle here. Oh my goodness. Probably giving somebody a heart attack thinking I'm going to break this. Um, all right, so it looks like a really worn out necklace. So I'm sure it's not silver. Let's see if we can get it untangled. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see. A little flower, so it's super tarnished. The beads look like they're about to fall out. So, yeah, I don't see any maker's mark or anything. So I'll probably put that to the side. Into a lot, lot box. All right, let's turn this back on and see what these are. So these feel kind of cool to the touch, some of them. I wonder if these are like mother of pearl though, or pearl, I don't know. I'm still learning, so bear with me. It's cool looking, and we'll try it, but let's see. These blue beads are cool, let's make sure we're calibrated. All right, 
So let's see here. Let's see. Nothing. But like I said, this could be like some kind of pearl. It could just be shells. I don't know. It looks cool, but yeah, it's ringing up as nothing. So, I don't know. I don't know if I would keep this or put it in a lot. I mean, it is a nice necklace. Hmm. I don't know. I'll put it in a lot. I have so many things I have to put Hey, this is Beth from Dainty Do Merchandise. I am a part-time stay-at-home mom, reseller of Goodwill Blue Box Jewelry. I also find some other stuff from Goodwill, and I just started this a couple months ago, so I am new to the program, but I really enjoy it as such a treasure hunt. Um, and you can check out my merchandise on Poshmark at Dainty Do Merchandise. And I also have, um, I just opened up an Etsy and um, I'm also under Dainty D Merch and I'm also on eBay under Dainty D Merch. So if you see anything, I'll send, uh, I'll put my email down at the bottom of this video and you guys can check it out and see what you think. So, so far I've gotten, just to untangle before I started this video. So I've gotten some chunk necklaces so far. Pretty chunk necklaces. I like this one the most, obviously. Shiny. This is another green one. And another glass beaded one. Cute, not my style, but cute. Definitely resell material. Then we have Chico's, some fake turquoise and jewels. Pretty cool, dangle bead necklace. Not my style, but some of you might like it. Then I've gotten this little like blown glass heart necklace. It's pretty cool, interesting. I might have to do a little research on it to decide a price. I might sell all of these necklaces, all of these in a lot pile or, um, or a bundle. So here's this one as well, another really pretty, no name brand, but definitely resell material. I like it. And then we've gotten some bangles. So I did test these charms and they are stainless steel, but, or I'm sorry, stainless steel, 925. This is not 925. And then we've got some kind of stone, like aqua marine or maybe like aqua quartz. Super pretty though, and it still has like the, the tag on it, Thailand, 925. So definitely resell. I'd probably resell this one for maybe like $15, $15, $20. And we have another bangle. I tested this one as well. It is not sterling silver, but it's cute. It's a cute little bracelet. Not my style, but... And of course, beautiful mom bracelet. Shout out to all the mamas out there. It's really cute. It's adjustable and cute. I like it. It's got stamped on it L.A. Che. Or L.A. C.A. I don't know if that's just for like Los Angeles, California. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up, but it's cute. I guess I could say wow too, but I'm, I'm assuming it says mom. I like it. And we've got some 1991, 1992 like penny bracelet from Peru. Interesting, I like it. I would resell this. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some research just to see because sometimes some vintage coins can be worth a pretty penny, so I'll have to look it up and see. So I've got this little no name brand brooch. I did test the stones, they're fake. But it's still a really pretty brooch, and somebody might still like it. Like little blue-green stones. And then we've got some earrings. It's like super soft. I hope I find the matching one. I'm sure I won't, but it is very pretty, and I'll keep it if I don't find it. And then we've got some Alex and Annie. Alex and Annie always sells. I've gotten a couple of them. On Poshmark, I've had a host pick on one of the bracelets. and gotten quite a bit of likes on it. Um, they do sell. They're definitely resellable. I've sold one before, I think, for $10. So I'll probably do a bundle of these for $20. Especially just like this brassy, like, colored on it. Little beads that say Made in America, an apple. It's cute, though, and a little, like, heartbeat. I like it. And then this beautiful little little guy. I'll definitely pay for my box alone. It says Swarovski. I don't know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> But Swarovski, 
so pretty I like it I would wear this I've actually seen these online so these sell for like 30 40 bucks some are up to like 60 but this is worn so I would probably sell this for at least 35 um, it's a bracelet, but it, it could also be like a choker style necklace. Um, I don't know which I would wear it as, but it is super pretty and super cute. And all the crystals inside, I don't know if you can see it in the video, because my lighting is not that great, but oh my goodness. So pretty. So definitely resale material. Um, let's check this out and see what we have here. It says ATI. 925 Indo, so probably like Indonesia. But 925 chain. I'll probably test it before I sell it. Not even probably, I will test it before I sell it just to make sure. You never know what you have until you test it. So now we're digging in some more. That's just what I got through just because it was so tangled. I had to untangle it for myself. Oh, untangle it for myself. So we got a best friend, and I do have my Presidium, my little gym tester, my, my darling. Let's see what we have. Looks like a fake. All right. So pretty, though. And let's see, are we from Claire's? Let's see. We are from Claire's. So I'll probably put that into the junk pile, just because I have so many of these little things. This little drop earring. Let's test and see. Oh, let me get my Presidium into view. Let's see. All right, I think we're looking like glass. All right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, so we got another, I don't know what this says. If it says anything at all, like an N or like a D. A D? I don't know. Oh, we're missing a stone though. So we'll put that into the, into the lot pile. All right, we're gonna keep digging. All right, I've never seen this before. Look at this cute little, I don't know. I wouldn't wear it, but. I know somebody that would. Maybe my daughter. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Let's see if we've got any markings. Looks like there's a marking on here. Let's see what it says. Hmm. Vic. Vic. What does it say? Vic. Ling? Lind? Vicland? Hmm. Yickland? I don't know. Look fund? Yuck fund? Hmm. I don't know. Never heard of it. It's cute though. Definitely could clean it up a little bit. It's cute. I would resell it. Probably for like five dollars. It doesn't look like genuine leather or anything like that. Hmm. What are you? Like Ember? <laughs> I wish. Uh, we have no maker's mark and it's starting to look tarnished. I don't know if you can tell on the chain. But this is pretty, so let's get all Presidium out. Get you in the view. There we go, let's see. All right, we're looking like a fake, I think. I don't know, I'll set it to the side just to make sure. It's really pretty, but it's just like the fading on it is intense. So I don't know, maybe I'll put it in the, in the lot pile. I like to look through my lots before I just toss them out. Because you just never know. All right, we got a little KM necklace. Let's see, do we have a mark? Please have a mark. No mark. Hmm. Let's test it and see if we've got anything workable. I know you should start with the higher um, gold testing, but I don't know. I don't like to get my hopes up. <laughs> so I start small. Oof. Can't even get that to scratch. Let's try again. All right, here we go. It sure is pretty though. I would definitely resell it. Let's see what we're looking at. Start with 10. Let's see what happens. I don't know if you can see. 
see it. And this could be like plated or something. It just, it looks so shiny. It's so pretty. All right, it looks like the medallion is, okay, yep, we're starting to fade. All right, and that's why you test all your stuff. Because it can look really nice and end up being fake. So it might be plated or something though. Sometimes I like to get them like actually looked at by somebody besides myself, but look, you can even see there's like a ding in it. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. There you go, yeah, you can see it just right there. And you can tell there's something underneath it. So it's probably plated or, oh, oh my gosh. Just broke off right in front of my eyes. All right. <laughs> All right, we just came undone. You see the little clasp here. Let's put you back on there, guy. Oh. I can. All right, you know what? I'll worry about that later. I like it though. Very pretty. Definitely resellable. Oh, we got another bundle. All right, let's see. All right, what does this say? Napier. So I think this is like a, not a Burlington, but some brand. Uh, like Belk. I think this is a Belk brand. So super pretty. I don't think it's tarnished at all. I didn't see any tarnishing. Let's see. Let's just double check here. Yeah, I mean, we're a little tarnished. I don't know. I'll try and maybe clean it up and see. Because this is definitely like... I would sell this for like $10. It's cute. Ooh, we have a key. Let's see. I have heard of... Oh my goodness. Of course, this is all bad together. I told you I tried to work on the tangles a little bit beforehand. So it wasn't like half the video is me untangling necklaces. All right. So no marking on here. Ooh, pretty little angel wing. I don't see any markings. No markings. Let's just see if these diamonds are real. Let's see. Can you see? Let's get you in here. All right, let's see. Nothing. I slipped and touched the metal. Don't get your hopes up. All right, so we're looking at nothing. I'll test it. Let's see. Let's test it for silver real quick. While we have the time. Oof. All right, let's see what we got here. Oops, ugh. And that's why you're careful with this, because it can eat up your counters. All right, let's let that sit. Ooh, all right. I think I got all the pieces uh, splashing off there. Let's see what we're working with. Well, it looks like silver to me. It is very shiny and pretty though, so looks like we got some sterling silver. No fading, all right. Yeah, that is still on there. You can still see it. Do you see it on the side over here? It's still on there, so yay. So I'll probably sell that for maybe like 20, $20. It's really pretty. I need to start. That over. All right, what are we working with here? Let's see. Oh, we've got a key. It says the giving keys. So I have heard of these before. M2 USA and strength. So I think these are going for like $40. Just this little key necklace. It says strength on it. So yeah, I would definitely put this online for at least $40. People are really into them. They're really cute. I'm not a key person, but if you are, check out my email down there and you can email me and ask me about it. Ooh, this looks like a like a tiger's eye or something. The colors on it are really pretty. Hmm, let's see. Get you out of here, stone. Alright, let me get 
Let's see what we're going. Oh, we got something. Oh. Tanzanite. Okay. So I'm definitely thinking this is probably a tiger's eye. Yeah, we have a needle. All right. Cool. This is a pretty little necklace too. So many, not my style, but so many so little glass beads. Looks like all the beads are glass. Super pretty though. I would definitely, I definitely know people that would wear, want to wear this. A little enclosed in a little halo. I would probably sell that, I don't know, maybe like $25, $30. It's a pretty heavy stone though, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research to make sure that that's the right amount, but I would think probably like $20, $25. We have another giant. This is so heavy. I'm shocked this is that heavy. All right, we got some kind of design here, but no words. Hmm, I don't know if I can kind of focus in a little bit. Yeah, it looks a little tarnished next to the beads, so I don't know. I might would put that into like this pile of <laughs> necklaces that I you can see over here. <laughs> this pile I have going on. So I'll probably, I don't know, we'll see. Now we have another little dangle. Looks like it's the matching one to this one. So I'm assuming not sterling. I'm not even gonna test it because it looks identical. So I don't know. I'd probably resell these for like ten dollars. I guess I could test it for like stainless steel too, but hmm, about ten bucks. It's yours. All right, we have a little angel that says hope and love, and no markings anywhere else. Okay, well, I would probably sell this for like five, ten dollars. It's cool, cute. Not my style, but cute. Let's see what else. All right, this is like a pearl. Oh, look at this clasp. I definitely think this is a vintage piece. Or not, but I think vintage. It's all like knotted together too. It's starting to green though, so oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe put it in the pile of chunk necklaces. I'll probably put that in a in its own lot box and just see like if I can sell it. Just a huge lot of chunk necklaces, maybe for like thirty dollars. We'll see. All right, now we have another fake earring. It's cute. I'll put it in the pile of, I might find the other one earrings. Let's see. So I've gotten these chains before and I'm sure this is fake. And one that was stamped 18 carats. It was like 60 grams. And I was like, oh my gosh, I might've found a real $2,000 gold necklace. Well, my hopes were sorely tarnished when I tested it and it faded very quickly. So I'll test it. Let's test it. Oh my gosh, I can't even get it to scratch. Probably not a good sign. <laughs> All right, I cannot even get this thing to scratch. So I'm gonna say lot pile or junk pile. Like, probably like 15 to 20 dollars it's really cute though cute little brooch all right now look at this beauty i do not see ugh, i wish i could see the bottom of this but i do not see a matching pair to this i'm gonna have to keep an eye out for it but holy cow check that sucker out it does say 925 on the clasp and let's get a little presidium out Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, probably like emerald is what I'm thinking. Oops. Emerald. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I wish I had the matching pair. All right, let's see. And let's see if I can find this little tiny diamond. Oops. Oh, 
sorry. Let's see if I can get it. Um, oops. Ah. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Ah. Let's see. I'm thinking we have a diamond. Let's see. All right, all right. My goodness. I think we have a diamond. Here we go. Let's see. Ah! Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, let's try again. Last time. All right. I'm pretty sure these are diamonds. I will test it later, but I am pretty positive. She's got diamonds. Isn't that beautiful? I wish I had the matching one. My goodness, I would wear these. So pretty. All right, I'll set that aside. I don't know how much that would cost. I would have to do some research and see what we got. All right, we're looking like a twist chain. Looks like some tarnishing though. Wah, wah. This would have been a pretty bracelet to sell. So yeah, I'll put that in a lot. I'm not saying anything too crazy. Ooh, look at this beauty. I don't know if this, okay, it's supposed to be like a leaf. These are definitely just little beads. It's super pretty though. If I could find a little chain for it, I would definitely, definitely sell this maybe for like 10, $20. Pretty, I like it. Okay, now we have another copper wired bracelet. Of course, there is no name on it. No markings, so I'm gonna have to do some research. The joys of Google, of Googling everything. It's really cool though. It's definitely a different, different kind of bracelet. I'm seeing if it's like adjustable. It is not. <laughs> Super cool though, I like it. All right, let's see. All right, now I have this little gem. So I'm thinking this is like, like British. <laughs> some kind of British thing. Is it, isn't this like Big Ben? Right? Am I crazy? I think this is Big Ben. And then we've got a little like castle. So I'm assuming we got a little bit of writing on this castle. Let's see what it is. Castle. <laughs> castle. I want to say Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Hmm. I don't see any markings on here. I don't see anything. Hmm. I have to do some research. It's heavy though. It feels nice and heavy. Huh. So I'll have, to, I'll have to do some research on that one. And see if I can find anything. I'm eventually going to do a video of, well, the jewels that I've found so far. Cool. I found at least over two thousand dollars worth of like stuff. <laughs> we have a little heart. I shouldn't say little giant heart brooch. Let's see what we're looking at here. What does it say? T D or L D? I think it's T D with a crown. Huh. I'll have to do some research. She's pretty and she's heavy. So I'll have to see what we're we're going with you. All right. Um, let's see. Sorry, got distracted. All right. We'll get down to the nitty gritty here. Got just a couple more things in this box. Here we got another angel. A G C L L C. So I'm gonna have to look that up. I have no idea what that means. Just got a little weight to her. Not much. Just cute, little angel. Got another little bracelet, no markings, and these look so fake, so I'm de definitely these two are fake, fake. I'm not even gonna test it because I know they're fake, but I'll test it for you guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fake, 
silk that you in a lot. And let's see about you, a little gem. I might give one of these to my daughter. Yep, fake and fake. All right. So now we have little Leah Sophia. Leah Sophia is a seller all the time. She sells. So these are cute. Not my style, but cute. I'll put them aside. You take a look at them. We're down to the last tangled mess. Here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness, this is too much. <laughs> All right, well, this is an NY necklace, so let's take that out. Another NY chuck necklace. I have another one of these, so I might just group them in and make it a a lot pile or group this one in with the others over here and see what we've got going on. Just another, like I said, NY. These usually sell, but I just got, this is such a big, chunky, look at this. Look at this pile of here. Oh my goodness. Like, look at that pile of necklaces. So, yeah. So, and here we go. Here's another one. Here's another chunky necklace. <laughs> I remember when these were like, I have a couple of stairs, of course, because who doesn't like a good chunk necklace on occasion? All right, going in on the chunk necklace pile. Cute, but everybody has some. All right, I wish I could get this owl out. Oh my goodness. That's all I want is the owl. So my sister-in-law loves owls. And I don't know, I might save this necklace for it. Oh my gosh, I can't. All right, well, the class is broken, so sorry, it's not going to my sister-in-law. And the rest of this just looks like a tangled mess. So yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Except for this earring, it says 925. I'm shocked. And I don't think I have a matching pair. Shocker. Oh my gosh, I can't get it out either. Ugh, I'm gonna have to. This backing could just be 925. That's cute. But this is probably gonna go into the lot pile. Just looks like a tangled mess. And you know what? I ain't got time for it. <laughs> Alright. Down to the nitty gritty here. So these two, okay, so I see what's happening here. So this probably maybe, I don't know, maybe it broke off of the other set. Okay, maybe, I thought I knew what was going on here. I don't. <laughs> They're so sparkly and shiny, but neither one of them have a matching pair. Hmm. Other than that. Oh, I do have a matching pair. I lied. Okay, well, here you go. Here's a matching pair. So if you're interested in these earrings, my email will be down at the bottom. They're cute. Little hoop earrings. A little, you know, hoop through the ear earring. I don't see any maker's marks. They're a little tarnished on the back, so I don't know. I'll keep them. You just never know. And let's see. Alright, these are the last two that we have. Looks like it says XOX -X, or just like XX, I don't know. And then this old guy. A whole lot of fake beading go in the lot pile. So this is shocking. I actually usually have a huge lot pile left over. And I don't. I don't have a lot of left over at all. So let's check this one. Oh, and I have one more. She pulled this one out a little bit earlier because I saw it and was like, I bet this is real. I saved it for the last to torture you. Okay, let's check this one. We have our in view. Let's check. Oops, sorry. And nothing. So, lot pile. All right. Dun da da da. The finale. Let's check it out. Do we have diamonds? Let's pray for diamonds. 
Yay! We have diamonds! Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm super excited about that. I need to test it and see. All right, let's test. I'm gonna turn you off because I am done. What a pile. I'm gonna test this earring and this ring, so. Try to do it in a clean spot, it's kind of hard. Oops, here we go. This is the ring. Let's see. Of course, these could be like lab created, but oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Dang, okay. I'm gonna put it on my hand right now because it's so pretty, I'll probably keep it. All right, well, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It's a good sign. All right, so we're probably looking at a sterling silver diamond ring. This is a lot of diamonds. I'm like shocked. It was so pretty. I mean, I don't know. I'd probably sell this for like $200. I'm not going to sell it right now. <laughs> So do not inquire because it is not for sale right now. But all right, that was my last piece. Okay, I'm, I lied. I'm sorry. One more. One more, one more. We're going to test the gold hoop. See if we got any gold on here. All right, let's start with the 10K. Let's see what we're looking for. There's that one marking on here. Hmm. I'm just looking at this. I'm waiting for that to dissolve or not dissolve. Let's see. All right, we're dissolving. Boo-hoo. This is super cute. I need to get my daughter some of these. I pierced her earrings when she was super little. Some people don't like it, but I could not resist, and my parents did it to me when I was a baby, so. So yay, so we have sterling silver diamond ring. I cannot believe we found a sterling silver diamond ring. And then fake gold hoop. Trash, just kidding, it's not trash. It's wearable. So okay, well thank you so much. So it looks like we've found a couple of gems in this pile, two diamonds, one definitely like an emerald or something. And then some goodies, goodies, goodies. Oh my gosh, the Swarovski. Got some some brooches. Oh my gosh, this is actually a pretty good box. We have a $45 key. My goodness. I mean, my gosh, how did I get so lucky? And my diamonds. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming by. I am going to do, I promise, I'm going to do a video of all my goodies that I found that I need to test and I need to check out. But this was an awesome box. I would say at least, probably at least three or four hundred dollars of profit here, and that doesn't even count for the for the lot box that I'll also sell. So, yeah, check it out. I love some Goodwill. Check them out. Let me know what you think, and check me out on Poshmark at Dainty D Merchandise. You can email me at e dobson1993 at icloud.com. Also on eBay under Dainty D Merch. And let me know what you think. All right.